All right, let's jump right into this. So this is my first ranked game as Sheik only. People say Sheik is the easiest character to learn and to also rank up with. So I'm putting that to the test. And I actually never played Sheik seriously. So this will be interesting. And what you're going to be watching here is me playing hundreds of ranked games. So you could sit back and relax as I play more than 200 ranked games. So right now I'm doing my placement matches and my first game is against this fox. I feel like Sheik is such a simple character but what I didn't realize is that in this game for the Fox matchup, I had no idea how to edge guard Fox. He would just use his up special and immediately get back to the stage. And it was such a big problem because I would get him off stage a lot of the times and a good Sheik would just immediately kill them. And I didn't know what move to do to kill them. I was just spamming down smash, but that was not working. Like heck, he was even putting himself down the stage and I still couldn't do or capitalize on it. I didn't know what to do. And I lost game one, and for game two, it was just impossible for me to go back to the stage without dying. What? Like every time I try to up B and recover above the stage, he just kills me off of it. I'd have to learn how to recover. <laughs> Bro, I got destroyed. For the chic nerds out there, what can I have done better in that situation? Comment below. What do you think I could have done? Anyway, so on to game three. So I lost that Fox matchup and now I need to play three more placement matches to get placed in a certain rank. And this is my first Luigi match. I had no idea what I was either doing like against Luigi. He's such a weird character. What I did notice though was Luigi's recovery is terrible. Like he has no movement in the air, so I could just tap him and then hit him <laughs> off the stage when he tries to up special. But here's the thing, I lost against Luigi still because I didn't know how to recover against Luigi or Fox. I would just die. I was up being the same exact way every time and I was getting punished for it. And right after a juicy combo that I get here, I'm just not paying attention. Oh my god. So I lose that Luigi set, and it's okay. I'm still learning Sheik, all right? <laughs> so I play against Fox once again for game five, and I kept in mind my edge guarding. I was trying out new things, and I realized that four tilt is such a faster and bigger move to edge guard if they are close to the ledge. And I noticed it was working. I would mentally note that, okay, Foxes will try to side B first, and then once they're below the stage, I could probably do down smash if I feel like F tilt is doesn't reach like below enough. What's interesting is that Fox is the third fastest falling character. So when I hit him up in the air, he lands on the ground so fast that it doesn't give enough time for the player to ground tech, which means I could kind of like predict that and just chain a bunch of like attacks together. And the match became really close on Final Destination. I just needed to get him off stage because I was getting a lot of stocks that way until I made a pretty bad um, technical mistake. I air dodged. Oh my god, are you serious? But it's okay, this game is very technical and very mechanically demanding. So I tried to wave land to the ledge and I just messed up. And if you mess up that technique, you just die. So yeah, I lost that Fox match and I am a 0% win rate against Fox. Honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if I get placed in bronze rank at this point unless I win a game. Oh man, is Peach's recovery so bad if she's not high up on the stage? Because if my needles are in range of her horizontally, uh, her up is so slow, I could just fare her out of the sky. And honestly, I think this Peach player just was not good at punishing me. Like she would get like a really good hit on in the neutral game, but she wouldn't continue her combo. Like she gets a good back air here, but doesn't follow up on it. <laughs> and it lets me going like scot-free most of the time. Also, Peach is very slow. I could just recover to the platform and then she can't really do anything because she moves pretty slow. I could even react like if she's on the platform, I could then just go to ledge. And honestly, this matchup so far felt pretty stinking easy. And this actually was the very first win <laughs> finally that I got. All right, and then the next game I play against another Luigi. And compared to the last Luigi I played, this guy was easy to recover back to the stage against. He would jump at the wrong time Time. And so I took advantage of Luigi's bad recovery that I learned from game three. I just timed my air attacks in between his side B's. So after taking the final stock from this game, I get placed in silver one. All right. And now on to game 12, another peach. 
So I used my experience from the last Peach game I played and that she's very weak off the stage and when she's in her umbrella, she can't move any higher. And then this is when I learned something great. A kill confirm at 70% off of a throw. I could down throw and if they hold in, I could lead to up smash. Ooh, is that a guaranteed? I like that, I like that. When Peach is in the air and she floats kind of slow, Sheik runs really fast on the ground so I could just catch up to her once she's in the air while I'm on the ground and then just end the stock this way. And so far, the Peach matchup is pretty easy. And after I defeated that Peach, I ranked up to Silver 2. So we are pretty close to gold so far. And for game 14, I play against a Young Link. Playing against Young Link was actually really fun. This match, I was doing a lot of experimenting and I feel like Nair stays out for a really long time, so I tried to edge guard with it. Oh wow, that worked. <laughs> Just falling there. And then this was pretty funny. <laughs> I guess the Young Link forgot about a mechanic of his own character. <laughs> you forgot there's a hang time. Oh my god, that's, that's really funny. And so far, once I beat this Young Link, I would be on a four winning streak. And that would quickly change. And then game 16, I play against Ganon for the first time. Pretty funny, I just played against a Young Link and now I'm playing against a Ganon. We're just a reunion of all the Legend of Zelda characters. But yeah, Ganon is scary, like, he hits hard. Oh my god. When Ganon would be in his shield, I would try to follow up, but I just can't. So instead I roll. And Ganon would just double jump and just send out a air attack at the right time, like every time. Oh, it was the wrong way. Also, apparently Ganon could do this. Is this true? Because I try to mix in my DI every, like, going in, going out. He racked up a ton of percentage there. Luckily, he missed the killing blow, though. I knew this was going to be a big problem with me allowing Ganon to just shield for free. Also, I get hit by his forward air attack again. Like, it, the fair is not fair. <laughs> like, it's a slow move, but I still get hit. Each hit, I feel like I'm getting hit by a truck. No! I thought that! What the heck did I just say? <laughs> like, I should have forward tilted after this fair. Oh yeah, I never mentioned yet that Zelda, which is my down B, I transform into Zelda and I actually recover longer. Zelda's recovery, her up B, is a lot farther. That's why I switched to Zelda here. And then it puts me in a rough situation. It takes too long to transform back to Sheik and it makes me too vulnerable. Ah, uh, good taunter, man. The next game is game 18, playing against a Luigi. And this Luigi was mixing me up and he was pretty good. But then this happened... What? Do you just disconnect? Yeah, so that guy rage quit, I guess. And even if you rage quit, I still get the ELO points for that. So it, it counts as me winning, even though that Luigi was like, actually like way ahead of me in that game. And now this is game 20 against a Falco. I'm actually surprised it took 20 games for me to play against my first Falco. And let me tell you this. How do people play this matchup? I literally cannot do anything. And when it comes to Falco going off stage, I'm thinking, okay, I hit him off stage and I grab ledge back air. No shot, no shot. And it's funny because my main in this game is Falco. And I always thought this matchup was super hard because it was easier for Sheik. But now in Sheik's shoes, man, this matchup for Sheik feels so hard, especially when he lasers. Like what am I supposed to do here? Like I just can't get in. And to be honest, I was a little nervous. I was ending my combos way earlier because I just felt like I wanted to rush and get him off the stage, but he got the best of me. Game 22, and I play against a Peach, who I currently right now have 100% win rate against her, but this Peach was different from the previous Peaches I would play. Compared to the Peach I played in game at game 12, she was really good with her punishes. She would get one hit off and then convert it into like a death, and it was really frustrating. Her recovery was also a lot better. She would go high above the stage and it was hard for me to know, to see whether she's going to go to ledge or float above me. And this Peach did something before I I haven't seen before and she used her down B turnip to snipe me out of the air. Oh. And I thought this matchup was easier for me. Sometimes my muscle memory would pop in from Falco muscle memory. Like I tried to shine here. Oh! Crazy how the brain does that to you. She would also recover with air dodges, which threw me off because I haven't encountered that yet. And it was really hard to cover. The speech was also crossing me up, landing on the other side of me. I'm starting to face people that are really good. This is hard. <sighs> This is hard. So I did some training and I didn't know that Sheik's forward air actually goes pretty high diagonally from her head. So I'm going to try to use that to outspace people. Game 26 is against Fox and 
this fox was fast. I could not even touch him in the neutral. Like, I didn't know what to do. I think I have to more preemptively, like, assume and predict he's going to be in a certain spot. And then I throw out an attack there. Because I just got destroyed this whole set. Because I was trying to go to where he was and not where he's going to be. And it didn't even matter if my fox edge guarding was kind of good. Kind of like the last fox uh, matchup I played. But he's at like four stocks right now. So edge guarding doesn't matter. If I can't even deal enough damage, then my good edge guarding doesn't even matter. Because I can't even get him off the stage to begin with. <laughs> now game 29, we play against a Sheik for the first time. So we're doing a mirror match. But she knew how to play against me on the ledge because I had this bad habit of just faring off the ledge like this and I died. I was baiting the Sheik to do an air attack and then I would just drop below the platform and then just up air them <laughs> constantly. Finally. <laughs> so in ranked mode, it's a best set of three. So whoever wins two times wins the set. And this is the first time I actually have played someone all three games which is pretty surprising. That means like we are really close in this game to go back and forth. It just took 29 games to get to this point. Edgeguarding is still my strong suit, even in the mirror match. So I just sent them off stage and it seems like they gave up. <laughs> and off of that win, I reached the rank of silver three, which took a total of 17 games within silver two. And then game 31, I play against Luigi. Uh, nothing new. I just edge guard him because back air is super good and I mostly win this set by edge guarding. Game 34, I played against Marth for the first time and this was a pretty easy matchup. I just waited till he threw out like a fair or any move and then I would just punish it. And putting Marth on the platforms worked out a lot because Marth seems to not really do anything when he's on a platform. Like when they're off stage, Marth's really want to side B and it's just such a long move that you could just react to it and then just back air them or do anything and they really can't make it back. I feel like at this level, Marth's really like to side B even above the ledge too. So this applies to above ledge. I just hit him with Nair there and then I just hold ledge. Game 36, I play against a fox and this is my fifth time playing a fox and my win rate against foxes is still 0% right now. And for example, I guess what adds to that is I had no idea how to recover without just immediately dying. Dude, how? And I've had this problem since literally game one playing against the fox, how to recover. But I actually found out a solution. Needle the fox off the ledge. And it worked. But I did get closer compared to the last fox match I did by preemptively using or throwing out attacks. But... This, uh, this fox was really good at edge guarding. Damn, it's hard, bro. I had a ton of stuff to work on in the fox matchup. Game 39, I played against another fox in a row. And this time I'm trying up tilts to see if he rushes in preemptively, but I'm too predictable. And <laughs> edge guarding is, or recovering is still hard. And I honestly lose this set too. And my punish game and combos are still lacking. It's like he exactly knows right when I'm going to throw out a move. And I just get punished. So day two of the challenge. And I go into 20xx training mode. And practice edge guarding and comboing a fox. And I didn't realize how uncomfortable I am playing and comboing fox. It was so easy to drop combos and I knew I had to play a little bit but I couldn't spend all my time in training mode so I went back into the ranked queue. Game 41 I played against this Falco and I could tell his technical skill wasn't as good. He wasn't that fast so it was kind of like easy for me to catch up to be honest and he did not shoot a lot of lasers compared to the last Falco that made the Falco matchup hard. So I just throw him off stage and then I play to my strengths, edge guarding, and this set was GG. So game 42, I play against a Sheik and I just use what I learned from game 29 so that when the Sheik is above me, I could just fair or back air because Sheik doesn't really have a lower attacking move like when she's in the air. And then when I expect to play against Sheik again, he counterpicked me to Falco. So even though the game was close with the Sheik versus Sheik, he went to Falco this time. Very interesting. 
And from all the Falco and Fox experience I played before, I realized I just save my needles when they're off stage. I F tilt reacting to when Falco is about to laser. And then it's an edge guard scenario and I play to my strengths. When I'm in shield, it's really hard to play against Falco because he has advantage and he could just attack my shield and then what do I do after my shield? So I'm actually lucky that like I got this. He went near the end of the stage and I doubled down smash him. <laughs> Bro, he almost had me there. He almost had me. Game 44 was against a Marth. He also did manage to hit a juicy combo on me. Oh! So it was looking close. But I then take this Marth game by doing the usual and just edge guarding Marth like crazy. And then just like the other player, we go as pretty close with this Marth versus Sheik matchup. And then he decides to go to Fox for our next game. Oh, <laughs> Fox, okay. Why do people do this? It's like, oh, we were close to that last game. Okay, what do you think about my Fox then? I don't know why. Why do players do this? A lot of Foxes, when they're at high percent, they want to hold in so that they don't get fared. But the thing is, if I mix that up by doing another F tilt, they will just stay near me the whole time. <laughs> Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. But here's the thing that this fox actually chose to play on FD. I feel like my FD play is really good because I don't have to worry about platforms on my punishes. And I could just worry about using F tilt or down smash here, get him off the ledge, and then just edge card him. Oh, let's go. I got my first fox win. And it's true. I played against fox six times, and this was the first win. And also, I ranked up. It's pretty funny that it took me also 17 games to go from Silver 3 to Gold 1. The same time, it took me 17 games to get from Silver 2 to Silver 3. My win rate against Fox is now 14%, so I really need to work on that. But what helped me win that was just waiting more, pressing shield more, and just playing reactively, and it worked out. And now, it is game 49, I play against a Marth. My win rate against Marth is still 100%, and I just did the usual that keeps working, just edge guard and just let the Marth uh, send out aerials and stuff. Oh, let's go! <laughs> yeah, I was pretty hyped about that match. <laughs> and um, we're playing first time against a Captain Falcon, and this guy is like the fastest running speed character ever. So like, the second your brain reacts to him dashing away from you, he's already dashing towards you with a neutral air, and then you get clipped. And then he combos Sheik so hard, especially when I'm holding DI in the whole time because I'm scared he's going to knee me. And if I'm holding uh, DI away for a second, the knee will just kill me super early. But if I keep holding in, I'll just get up air to death also. So this is a super scary matchup. Like there, for example, that was 40%. And this felt like the opposite of Marth. I couldn't react at all to the dashing of Falcon or the aerial attacks, I literally have to like read him. And this is what I'm talking about earlier about holding in and holding out. The second I feel like I hold out, he'll just knee me and I- Dang, oh my God, bro, this character is hard. Game 55. When Falco does full hops, I realized that I could just use down tilt if I space it correctly, that uh, combos into a killing blow. But I still lose this match because my Falco combo game is just so bad. And this Falco actually like barely lasered too. So I was trying to like work on my counter laser game, but he barely even uh, shot lasers too. He was just really good at comboing and getting uh, into like my defenses. Game 60. So this Marth was really good. He was different from all the other Marths, even though I would rack up damage and stuff. He could just kill me off of one hit. See how I'm just juggling him with forward tilt and up air. And a lot of times he would just send me in the air with either an up tilt or a up air. And he just really knew how to convert stuff um, off of just like single hits. I still think we're pretty even. Like I get him off stage here and it gets pretty close. Even though I'm behind 62%, I didn't know how to get into Marth when he would already begin up tilts and up airs. And then I proceeded to get styled on. Uh, good old Fox for game 61. I tried changing it up by shielding more in the neutral game, so I would run up to him and shield in his face, but it still would not work, and I still <laughs> needed to find out what to do. This matchup is just so hard, especially in the neutral game, and my edge guarding and punch game is still not good enough for me to do anything. Game 63, my Falco punish game is so bad, I get like some few string hits, but honestly, Falco should have just died off of my initial like attacking and I really needed to grind this out but no matter what I did I just still 
couldn't make waves and fox and falco were such a big problem still and i knew that it, i just have to slowly grind this uh part of the, my skill with chic out and it might take a while game 65 this marth would get me off stage a lot managed to mix up going to ledge so that he wouldn't get me and then i barely win this i have like double his percent and everyone tries a side b above and i use fair instead of bear this time <sighs> i barely got that oh my game 68 i am behind one stock against the fox on bo3 so like the last game and this got really close this fox isn't the fastest technical player but i straight up almost like his game was so close like this would have been sealed the deal right here i grab ledge and then that happens so sometimes i just mess up my technical like skill and then now it's scary because now i'm above this percent that fox is and i could pretty much die from up smash at this point and i really need to clutch things out here if it would if he was a faster fox i probably would have been up smash ready or if he read my moves more but i think there was a lot of spaghetti happening so I just barely have the skin of my teeth mash to like edge guard him and <laughs> get the win here. All right, so this guy's a nice dude. My wife called me and it was more important than like the match and he actually waited for me. Wow, what a nice guy. Anyway, nice dude. Game 70, down tilt. I actually been trying to use more. Uh, I learned it from that last Fox match that I played and I still don't know how to get in. Cause like every time, let's say I try to predict him and I try to do forward tilt, he's just dash backs anyway, and then it comes back in. It's a hard matchup, but nothing changes. I get comboed like crazy. I still to this day don't know how to play this matchup. <laughs> it's too hard for me. Red alert, I play against a Falco in game 73 and nothing changes. I need to like advance and do heavier combos once I get the thing, but if you saw that I did down tilt neutral, it worked, but I just don't know how to convert to kills yet. Like I even practice a little bit like in training mode, but it just still does not work. Like, I don't know why this matchup is so hard. I need to do stuff better than just forward tilt and stuff. Like edge guarding seems pretty good. It's just, it's hard for me to rack up the percentage. Also, I still struggle heavily with against lasers. Like, what do you guys think? Comment below how I could be better at this matchup game 75 so i did some research and then i went back into ranked and i noticed that people just power shield the lasers or they just duck under the lasers which i tried to do and that actually helped a lot against the laser problem i could simply also just jump over the lasers too like woo, jump over and fair sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but even if it doesn't, it puts me in a good situation where I don't get like full on down air to shine wombo combo that ain't falco you know. And I went on to win this set and it was pretty close. So felt pretty happy on that Worked and worked on my punish game. A lot of times I would just freak out and like spam a back air for the ledge. But if I just grab ledge and wait to see what they're going to do off stage, that has really helped uh, level up my fox edge guarding game. And another example of needling the ledge is good so that fox can't just immediately <laughs> kill me. And I actually win this set. <laughs> Finally, another fox set I win. It was pretty fun because it was the last game. So kudos to that guy. Game 82. Against the Ganon, I realized I could just fair him off the stage, and I didn't want to hit him with my up B explosion, and I barely won this. <laughs> it worked. Game 87. So, you know when you play against Ganon again, and I remember what I was supposed to work on and to just keep in mind about Ganon's forward air, but if people play too random enough, like in the neutral, I have no idea when his forward air is going to come out. And I actually, and I just end up losing this matchup. I don't know if I should be losing Ganon matchups, but it's just a hard, like, for you to remember what you are working on, you know? Oh. So I was mad, and on game 91, I play against another Ganon. Luckily, right before this, I did some Ganon matchup research, and I realized, like, if I stay in shield and wait for Ganon to use his double jump, I could punish him usually after that, and also use needles or back air to wait for him to up B or to double jump to ledge. And with those new tools, I end up winning this match. So this is very sad. Like what I mentioned about uh, muscle memory coming back <laughs> to like my Falco muscle memory thoughts would side be here. When I should win this, I have 0% against this Marth. Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? Game 99, 
I started realizing that I could just double jump away when I'm spaced weirdly against Falco. But when I'm like around like five sheiks away, I want to be on the ground so that F tilt is good. But if I'm closer than like five sheiks away from the Falco, um, I don't want to be in that situation because Falco would just act before I do. A very like nuanced kind of like concept but as i slowly get better at the game like it's all about knowing these like super niche or super like small micro concepts about like certain matchups so this is the first dr mario i play against and this is game 101 and a lot of the time i'm just feeling around like what he should do kind of thing or what he sh wants to do and a lot of time i could just like bait out like going near him and then backing away for him to spam like a neutral air or like back air or something and then my moves come out pretty fast so i just kind of punish him off of it and then just do whatever i want and really didn't feel like a hard matchup uh to play against just fundamentally used what i learned from the other games so day three happened and we first game we play against a samus for the first time pretty fun this is game 109 and Samus is a very slow character, but her crouch cancel is so strong. I had to keep in mind about that because she could just crouch crouch, crouch cancel and down smash. Oh my god, try saying that five times fast. Um, and the thing is that like Samus in the air is kind of weak when she's facing you because her forward air, her fire like shooting bazooka looking move where she shoots fire doesn't really do anything like yeah she hits me and i get a few damage but it doesn't combo into any moves so really i could just back air her and forward air her and nothing really happens on her end even when she's in the air i could kind of just rack up damage and just eventually kill her with up air and this uh matchup was pretty easy so far she even uses down b to descend slower uh because it like she hits herself with her bomb or something but usually I could just back air, space it, and just try to envision hitting her after she does her like down B bomb thing. Game 115. So now I'm starting to feel the heat of the Marths. I'm trying to, I'm actually feeling like it's, it's hard. This matchup is getting really hard now because the Marths, as I rank up, they're getting a lot better. They don't just jump at me in forward air or neutral air. They wait for me. And when they wait for me... I have no idea what to do, so I end up losing this set, and I had to figure out how do I actually, in neutral, get into the mind of the Marth player. Do I forward tilt? Do I forward tilt later on? Do I dash at him first? I, it's making me realize that, like, in gold, like, Marth's in the neutral game, like, it's really hard to, like, get in if Marth is not throwing out moves. What do you guys think I should do? Game 117 against the D-tier Zelda. So, this player never played, or never would transform to Sheik. He would only stay Zelda, which is very interesting. I don't know why people like to play low tiers, maybe to prove a point or so, but Zelda by herself without transforming into Sheik is pretty bad of a character like she's just way too slow um and she's just naturally like a literal d tier character and because she's slow i had to just figure out and take advantage of her up b and she doesn't really have any fast moves so if i just go in front of her face and just use forward tilt she can't do much really and i just kept doing the exact same thing also jabs there jab is really good because my jab is like even way faster than zelda's fastest move and she can't it's really hard for her to come back to stage and yeah that kind of like is <laughs> what the whole like matchup is in a nutshell like i just feel like a bully low-key but i guess they did that to themselves we have the same character select screen zelda can't really do anything in the air <laughs> so that was GG. So game 120 and my Marth win rate is slowly getting lower and lower. So this Marth beat me in a set. And I don't even want to take Marth to this stage anymore because I can straight up just die really early. And once again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but Falco in the neutral game is hard to play against because of the lasers. I thought that if they just shoot lasers i could jump over them but it's not always like that because i know how to beat like certain things like if falco shoots lasers low i just jump over them but falco could mix up shooting lasers high and do other things so what do you guys think i should do i this this is where i'm getting hard stuck gold now <laughs> but i'm trying to get 200 games so we're gonna still keep going game 130 <laughs> i actually lose dude to a bowser i i'm so bad at this game like holy crap 
for me to lose to a Bowser. Because Bowser is, like, I think nowadays, like, the worst character. And Sheik is, like, I think his hardest counter, too. And I literally just lose. Like, it's crazy. Because when he's in shield, he could use up B, like, immediately out of the shield. Which makes me, like, get hit automatically. And then I don't know how, as Sheik... Like, how do you edge guard up -y? I think I have to, like, grab ledge. Uh, but I didn't realize that yet. But, yeah, this was very irritating. <laughs> I have to, like, air dodge, like, up air. But this was rough. See, even if he up -y's above, like, what am I supposed to do from there? Like, this is embarrassing. Like, I'm going to be trolled. Or not trolled. I'm going to be memed on so hard. Dude, this Bowser was schmoving, though. Like, what am I supposed to do? Oh, <laughs> Thank God, I lost to a freaking Bowser. Game 139, nothing really new like happens again. What do you guys think I should do in the Fox matchup? Um, when I'm far from the ledge, like when he side B's, I can't needle cause he's like directly horizontally to the ledge. So that's like really hard for me to cover it seems. Okay, <laughs> you guys are gonna hate me. So game 157, I play against another Bowser and this is a, the different Bowser from last time. And I still lose. Like, what do I do? Like, no one documents this matchup. Like, like, what do I, what do I forward to? Like, what am I supposed to do? How do I get in? Sometimes I feel like I can't grab him. This wait, is, this character is actually good. But yeah, this was this was painful, honestly. Like, I, I just feel bad for myself. Bro, how do you play against this character? Oh my god, dude. Peach really didn't follow up on combos, so I won this set match uh, in game 165. But here's a good example of a good Zelda transformation. And Peach didn't really pressure me when I was Zelda, so I was successful to go back to Sheik. So after doing some replay analysis, this is game 170. I waited more and just baited the fox in and you would use fair. And then I would grab ledge immediately so that I could do back airs. Because usually it will cover side B to ledge. But that only works if I'm near the ledge. Game 173. The day that Ludvig gets clowned by another low tier. So this was um, also embarrassing. I don't know. This nest was moving though. I lost this set. But um, I think now looking at the replays, I should have just like went out there like super far anyway to back air uh ness's up b because um yeah I don't, I don't know why i didn't think about it during the time like i probably should have refreshed ledge uh with my back airs so this is this is just so bad i just let him get back every time <laughs> what uh game 179 if i could keep in mind how far up falco could go in his double jump and it won't be horizontal to ledge i can straight up just drop down the ledge and just fare him out of his up b game 182 i learned that i had to separate the ice climbers um in order for me to kind of like bring it to a 1v1 and even though i still do that i still <laughs> lose to the solo popo icy and i found it really hard against ICs where i can't really forward tilt them because even if I forward tilt one of them, the other one's shielding, and then I just get grabbed, and then I get mega comboed off their grab. So this was a really hard matchup I had to deal with. And then it's been really hard finding out, like, more stuff that I could see or, like, work on, because I'm at the point where it's, like, I feel like it's really hard to see what I need to improve on, but I've been practicing, noticing little small things, like, such as, like, knowing the range of when Fox can actually make it at an angle at as up B, so I just return to the stage and just forward tilt into fair. And then game 198, we're approaching the 200 mark, and this Luigi really messed me up. Um, even though his recovery is really bad, he really glided and wave dashed around the stage and used shield really good, where I couldn't really like get in, and I still, from my chic knowledge, don't know since this is like one of the most recent games I played. What do you guys think? How should I have like done better as Sheik uh, in this matchup? Or maybe this is um, good for Luigi. Maybe Luigi wins the Sheik matchup mostly. I even tried recovering there like really well, like mix up my recovery, but he still forward smash to kill me and he won that set. And then game 200, we end with a Luigi player. Nothing I really learned new as Luigi, just that uh, something funny happened where Luigi could get a misfire, right? So like his side B is like what less than 
10% chance for him to go like super zoomy fast with his side B. And I beat him for the first game we play, right? And then this was going to be an easy edge guard. And then the cheeky bug man got a misfire and then it straight up killed me. Bruh, are you kidding me? And then I won the set. Thankfully, I was pretty won it pretty convincingly with three stocks. Now, this was the last game of the challenge, and this was my peak rank. What do you guys think? For someone who's never played Cheek before, is this a good spot to hit within 200 games played and ranked? Also, I don't like Fountain of Dreams as a stage, but that was my highest win rate stage. So that was kind of interesting. And if you watch the whole video, thank you so much. You are a real one. I enjoy making this type of content, so make sure to like and subscribe so that we could get more people to play competitive video games and to try out just grinding and getting higher rank in elo because it's fun it's fun to do it's fun to watch and i appreciate that you genuinely watch this video and make sure in the comments to let me know if you guys will try this challenge too and let me know how far you guys got take care